Now the reason why I'm creating this project is there another way to check your Python version because when we go new Python file and we give a name we'll just call it test Python version I can just go print and then just put L Marsden and right mouse click run test Python and you can actually see in the top line here the version 3.6 or Python 3.6. So what we want to do is go check our version of Python. To do this we need to open a browser and head to the Python page. Once our browser is open we can type in Python and we want to go to the python.org website and to the download. You notice at the moment it says you know Windows 362. When we come in I'm on a Mac at the moment but I'm going to download the latest version which is 3.6.3. This will download at the bottom, it's not a very large file. And then I'll install the Python packages. So I'm just going to click on continue, 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 agree, install. It'll take a minute or so to install. Once it's done that, click on close, and then you can move to trash. Now that's updated our Python environment, so I can then close the browser, go back into PyCharm, and I'm just going to quit out of PyCharm, click on exit, and then I'm going to open PyCharm again. Now once you've opened Python again, you can come into create new project. In here, you'll actually see the different versions of Python. So you can actually see that I've got a version of 2.7, I've got 2.6, um, there's a 3.6 version, and that's what we're looking for, is some version of 3.6 something, either 1, 2, or 3. And as long as you've got version 3.6 in there, you'll be using a stable version of Python 3. Then we can test this again, so you can actually call it test programs, so test progs, and once again you can create a new file, click on Python file, I'm just going to call it test, just going to go print L Marsden and then run this program. And because my Python was up to date, you'll actually notice that I'm using the 3.6 of the library files, and you'll find that all the current code and structures will work perfectly for you. So, if you are running a version that has 2. Point something, it is very advisable to update to 3. So, I hope you found this useful and you're up to date and coding Python.